So first I'm gonna turn on the dark mode here in tools, options, general options, and I go I'll have to user interface and I'm changing the color scheme to MSIS Dark Beta. And just hit OK. Okay, so let's start working on the project. Let's go to project, insert circuit design. Here you can just hit OK. If you don't see these component libraries on the right hand side, you just go to view component libraries. So let's start and, and let's create our uh, low pass filter. Go to components. I'm going to add a resistor. So expand resistors, add this res. Okay, uh, you press ask and shift, you pan, uh, shift and alt. Um, you can zoom in. So when you click here, you have the value uh, 50 ohms. I'm going to replace this by R1. R1 is going to be the variable where we're going to be controlling the value of the resistor. So I'm just going to hit OK. OK. Now I'm going to add an inductor. So I'll go here to inductors. Inductor. And I'm going to add here inductor. It's L2. And again, it's uh, 1 nano Henry. I'm just going to replace this value by L1. I'm going to hit OK. OK, I'm going to connect those two. Just click here, click here. You have a wire. And I'm going to add two capacitors. So I'm going to go to capacitors, drag and drop. I can hit OK. And if I right click here, I can rotate or press Ctrl R, right? So here I'm going to add this capacitor. I'm going to say this is going to be C1. Oh, one pico Faraday. Uh, I'm going to add a ground in here. Okay, press ask and I'm gonna select the capacitor in the ground, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add a port, uh, two ports, one in here and another one in here. I press ask, you can drag the port just to have a better uh, view of your schematic. And that's it. Um, you right click in analysis and you go to add next sim solution setup, linear network analysis. Here in frequency, you click edit, and you can basically do many things, like um, you know, like from zero gigahertz up to one megahertz. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a, a linear step of uh, one megahertz, okay? And then I add this sweep because I want a better resolution at lower frequencies, and then I'm go uh, from one megahertz up to one gigahertz. Um, with a step of 10 megahertz, okay? But the, you can set your sweep the, any way you want. And this, you just hit OK. So let's see how this uh, filter will behave. You just right click on linear frequency, analyze. Okay, and, and that's it. You right click on results, create standard report, rectangular plot. And I'm gonna plot the uh, insertion loss, which is this one or this one. You know, they're, they should be the same. Okay, there we go. Uh, one thing that I did wrong here, uh, it's up to one megahertz, right? Uh, you can just add it here, uh, 10 gigahertz. Uh, just hit OK, right click again, analyze, then you're gonna have your results up to 10 gigahertz. Yep, there you go. Um, okay, uh, and that's basically, if you wanna plot this myth chart, you right click on results, create standard reports, myth chart, and you select any quantity, um, like this one in here. OK. So you have your Smith chart. Uh, if you go to Window Tile vertically, uh, you're going to have uh, you know, all your results, your windows, uh, and your schematic, uh, you know, and, and the UI. You can even close this, go again to Window Tile vertically, and you have this. Um, so. If you want to change those values, you click here, circuit one, you see those values that uh, we have this as default, right? I want to sweep those components, the value of those components, and see the results in real time. And for that, we go to circuits, design properties. And on the tab here, local variable, I'm going to tunny, and I'm going to define uh, all of these values. So I'm going to click include, because I want to include everyone, all of these three variables. Uh, Resistor 1, I'm going to go up to 100 with a step of 1. Um, inductor, I'm going to go from 1 nano Henry, 
right, up to 100 uh, nano Henry with a step of 1 nano Henry. And pretty much it's similar thing with the uh, capacitor 1 picofaraday up to 100 uh, picofaraday with a step of 1 picofaraday. Okay, um, that should work. If you hit OK, the only thing you have to do now is right click on Optimetrics and there's this option Tunning, right? You're gonna see all the variables in here and just uncheck this box, Browse Available Variations and you can change your slider bar. Uh, the first time it's gonna check for license so it might take a little while but after that, you know, you can just change the value of your capacitors, uh, you know, and uh, the, the inductor in that case and see the results. Since this is going up to uh, you know 10 gigahertz, you might want to plot this in log. So if you double click here, you go to axis scaling and go to log and hit OK. OK, so now uh, you know you can see the results uh, of your filter if you're changing the variable. So this is the variable of those two capacitors and changing them in real time. You can see how it changes on this mid chart and also um, on the S polymer plot. So this is pretty interesting. So you can understand all the variables, you know, how they play uh, in the responsive filter.